Hey guys and welcome to a fun and easy introduction to augmented reality. So what is augmented reality? You all know Iron Man. Now if you look closely from Tony Stark's perspective, you see that he has a stack of floating information in his view. This digital information is augmented with the user's environment in real time. Unlike virtual reality which creates a totally artificial environment, augmented reality uses the existing environment and overlays new information on top of it. You've also seen popular apps such as Pokemon Go and played around with Snapchat filters which are other forms of augmented reality. So how does it work? To understand how augmented reality works, let's first look at the various types of AR that we get. The first one is projection-based augmented reality. As the name suggests, projection-based AR functions using projection onto objects. It is a simple projection of light to a surface. Over here you can see how digital information is overlaid for a camera and users can interact by touching virtual buttons. The next one is recognition-based AR, which is a common augmented reality method. And this focuses on recognition of objects and then provides more information about the object. So for example, when using your mobile phone to scan in a barcode or QR code, or looking at a detailed target marker. This augmented reality type is quite broad and consists of marker-based augmented reality and markerless-based AR. So when your camera detects a marker, business card or barcode, it will overlay mostly a 3D object or animation over that. With markerless AR, there are algorithms that detect the surface plane of either a table plane or floor and use that as a reference to place the 3D object. Google and Apple have the SDKs called AR Core and AR Kit respectively. More on this in a bit. A popular markerless AR app was IKEA's AR Furniture app, where you could place new furniture in your house and see how it looks. Choose your color, try another one if you didn't like it, and it was amazing. You might not even know it, but your face can even be a point of reference, like in the case of Snapchat AR filters. They use the state-of-the-art facial recognition algorithms to detect the location, scale, and orientation of your face, so that it can overlay a puppy dog facial features over your own. <sighs> the next one we have is location-based AR. Location-based augmented reality is one of the most widely implemented applications of AR. The strongest force behind this is the easy availability of GPS in smartphones and the features that they provide in terms of location detection. Location-based AR is mostly used to help travelers on their journey. Outlining AR Outlining augmented reality, which is not too popular with respect to the others, but has its users in driving environments to outline lanes, people, and objects when visibility gets hindered. Superimposition-based augmented reality provides an alternate view of the object in concern, either by replacing the entire view with an augmented view of the object, or by replacing a portion of the object view with the augmented view. In this case, once again, object recognition plays a vital role logically if the application does not know what it is looking at. It most certainly cannot replace the original view with an augmented one. Thermal vision can be thought of as superimposition augmented reality, as it takes heat signatures using an infrared camera and overlaying onto a visual image for clarity. It can also be used for medical purposes to gain a deeper insight into health conditions of a patient, as well as in industry where augmented reality instruction manuals quicken training times and improve learning of a specific task. So basically, training technicians to acquire new maintenance and assembly skills is important for various industries. This is because assembly and maintenance tasks can be very complex, and training technicians to efficiently perform new skills is challenging in general. Training of this type can be supported by augmented reality, a powerful industrial training technology that directly links instructions on how to perform the service tasks to the machine parts that require processing. Now that we have established the various types of AR, let's look at popular applications of augmented reality on top of examples that we've mentioned earlier. So the first one we have is AR gaming. We've already seen a lot of games like AR Stack, Ingress, Space Tech, Temple Treasure, Hunt, Ghost Snap AR, Minecraft, Run, and AR Invaders. It can be used for advertising and promotion, where we have Leia Reality Browser, and this is an application for iPhone and Android, designed to show the real world around you by displaying real-time digital information in conjunction with the real world. 
We also see magazines which allow you to view products in AR, play and interact with the products as well. Lego have seen an increase in their sales because they allow the child to scan the box and see what the finished product looks like, making the kid determined for their parents to buy it. You can also have an augmented reality business card. AR apps for navigation. Navigation applications are possibly a most natural fit for augmented reality with our everyday lives. Enhanced GPS systems use augmented reality to make it easier to get from point A to point B and even indoors. Military Augmented Reality The Head Mounted Display or HMD is used by ground troops. Critical data such as enemy location can be presented to the soldier within their line of sight. This technology is also used for simulations for training purposes. In construction and design, having a heads-up display on underground pipelines would be a proactive means of alerting people to potential dangers when they are digging. For design, the HoloLens has been used for many occasions for design of 3D components and subsystems, all the way to designing a store and placement of furniture. And we've mentioned earlier about medical uses as well as maintenance and repair. The applications are endless. Now looking at the leaders in AR hardware. So apart from using our phones and tablets for augmented reality, it would be a more immersive experience to wear augmented reality glasses. The leaders in AR glasses in 2018 are Microsoft with HoloLens, Physics with M100 and RAP 310XL, there's Meta 2, ODG, and Moviero BT300. There are many other AR glasses out there, and we'll make a video on the best AR glasses in another video soon. What is Vuforia? Now let's take a look at what Vuforia is. Vuforia is an augmented reality software development kit or SDK for mobile devices that enables the creation of augmented reality applications. It uses advanced computer vision technology to recognize and track planar images, such as image targets and simple 3D objects ground planes in real time. This image recognition capability enables developers to position and orient virtual objects such as 3D models and other media in relation to real-world images when these are in view of the camera of a mobile device. The virtual object then tracks the position and orientation of the image in real time so that the viewer's perspective on the objects correspond with their perspective on the image target so that it appears that the virtual object is part of the real-world scene. Hence the term augmented reality. So in a nutshell, Vuforia makes implementing augmented reality apps easy for anyone to get started without having to redevelop all the complex detection and tracking algorithms that are incorporated into the Vuforia SDK. I see a lot of potential in this SDK and that is why I'm providing this course as anyone can get started with AR without complex coding. Let's take a look at what are Vuforia's core features. The main feature that you've seen already is image targets. Image targets are the easiest way to put AR content on flat objects such as magazines, pages, trading cards, and photographs. Multi-targets are for objects with flat surfaces and multiple sides, or that contain multiple images. Product packaging, dice, posters, and murals all make great multi-targets. Also if you want to have multiple targets, like that in an augmented reality fighting game. Cylinder targets, as the name suggests, enables you to place AR content on objects with conical and cylindrical shapes. Soda cans, bottles, and tubes with printed designs are great candidates for cylinder targets. Now we get a bit more advanced with object targets, which are created by scanning an object. They are a good option for toys and other products with rich surface details and a consistent shape. In this course, I use a paper punch as an object target, but you can use any small object that you like. Model targets is a new feature in Vuforia 7, but it is still in beta development. I will be covering a lecture on it soon, as the CAD model generator becomes available. But essentially, model targets allows you to recognize objects by shape using pre-existing 3D models. Place AR content on a wide variety of items like industrial equipment, vehicles, toys, and home appliances. Another new feature in Vuforia 7 is Ground Plane, which puts Vuforia on the same plane, pun intended, as Apple's AR Kit and Google's AR Core. 
Ground Plane functionality allows you to attach content to horizontal surfaces such as floors and tables. The reason why they released this feature is not to compete with ARKit or AR Core, is to extend this feature to as many devices as possible since Apple and Google both have restricted Ground Plane technology to only the latest devices such as iPhone 6S and higher and Pixel 2, Samsung S8 and higher. Other cool features found in Vuforia are virtual buttons, view marks, text recognition, which may be deprecated in later versions of Vuforia, there's occlusion management, and cloud recognition, which enables developers to host and manage image targets online, and does not mean recognizing those things you see in the sky. Okay, so that is it from me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Click that bell icon to see more augmented reality videos. And please check out our Patreon page for some special member-only perks. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.